Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As always, we are starting off with the gold chart, and we can see we had our confirmation where we broke above our resistance area, and then today is just more confirmation, even a little more volume today. Um, the thing that's interesting is that we had the buying volume moving average above the selling moving average, and now they're basically at parity. So it's going to be interesting to see if we continue to have volume to push us past the last swing high. Uh, what's, what's cool about this also is that you can see on our early, the minute we touched the uh, oversold, it really just shot up. Now, some say it had a lot to do with the FOMC minutes that released in the States today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the States. Um, I don't know anything about that. But overall, we can see gold strong. Um, let's zoom out for a second. Just waiting for it to zoom out. Hold on. There we go. And we can see just this beautiful uptrend. We have a rising three type pattern here on the monthly chart. So, I mean, there's reason for us to move higher. It's definitely bullish. Um, and so uh, we'll see if we continue to have the volume. Moving on to the pound dollar. So if gold is strong, what's going on with the dollar? Well, we can see that the dollar has tanked there. And, and notice that's right about when the FOMC minutes came out that we just kind of fell out. Also today, we had uh, a rating agency downgrade Italy's debt to uh, junk, I believe. So... Um, a lot of a lot of things happening in the after news session. Now, what's interesting is we've had this line drawn in for how long, and then notice that today's down action on the daily came right to our downtrend line and moved up. Um, still light on the volume, still have the selling volume in control, but it's interesting. I always like to see when our trend lines prove out to be that uh, that honored. But what we see is we broke below our support area. Um, we still um, have potentially a fallen three pattern, but we can see, and we'll have to mark this um, to see uh, the, the uh, buyers definitely came in and tried to push this back up to our consolidation range. When we look at this on the hourly, we can see how far off we got from a long-term moving average. We can see the, uh, the buying zone that we are in as far as our Bollinger Bands. Uh, but the thing that's interesting now is that as the dollar tanked, uh, we can see now that fractionally the pound has taken control. Uh, we even had um, uh, in one day we had sort of a buy and a sell signal, and now we're kind of consolidating, to, trying to digest what we've the action of the day. Again, big sell, big buyers coming back in. So uh, we'll have to see. Both are below zero. Um, and the pound taking control could lead to us getting back into this uh, testing the 200 moving average could lead us to back into this zone that we're in prior to the break. So uh, when we go to the euro dollar, we can see there's a euro taking control and heading back down. Now one of the reasons you might say, why is the euro heading back down? Well, think about that. If Italy's debt has been downgraded, that's the euro zone. And that's probably why we're seeing this downgrade. That happened after the FOMC minutes. So first we see the rise on the FOMC minutes as the dollar tanks. And then we see the uh, um, the euro being affected possibly by that downgrade of Italy's debt. Now what we watched yesterday, 
was where were we at? Well, we were at a support area. And you can see potentially we may close at that. There's a, pot a potential bounce here off of the 200 moving average. Um, we can see the selling volume is still in control. Um, and you can see the break that we've been watching for a couple of days also. So all of that certainly is bearish. But what do we also see? Way off our long term moving average, definitely in a buying zone, um, eurozone in control, euro in control. So we could see uh, this move up continue. Finally, we look at the dollar franc. There we go. On a daily, we're still in this range, potentially closing outside of it. But notice we had some wicks in here, so I'm still not panicking. Light on volume, selling volume in control, uh, but we're still basically in a range. So that looks good for way off the long-term moving average in a buying zone. The uh, issue here is that the franc has taken control, uh, which will also um, push this lower. We need a dollar in control to get this to move higher. So um, not only is it control, but it's above zero. Uh, and you can see the trending down of the dollar. So it's going to be interesting to see if this channel holds and if with the, um, the franc in control, does that push us out of this uh, range and we make a new low. As we move to our watch list, we currently don't have anything that we're watching for the low volatility watch list. The Euro USD, the Oz USD, they look like they could be setting something up, but right now we don't have anything. And for our inside bar watch list, we also do not have anything that we're watching. So as we continue to talk about what separates winning traders and losing traders, our topic for today is having full control of your emotions. Uh, the one thing that can truly sabotage your trading career is emotional trading. When you're trading out of fear, you're trading out of greed, you're trading out of uh, uh, emotions, you're, you're just setting yourself up to fail. However, if you have a focused, disciplined system that's been back tested and proven that allows you to remove your emotions and trust the system and follow the system systematically, robotically, then you will be on a path of being a successful trader. Trading off emotions, I'm scared, I'm fearful, I don't want to miss it, and you're on the path to blowing out your account. Which, as always, how we end, dmbfx.com, focus, discipline, and straight to the point trading. No hype, no fluff, and more importantly, no emotions. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.